Anyone that's been playing Duel Links the past couple days probably knows that the metagame is pretty much completely UAs right now. It's pretty surprising because uh, UAs in the same pack that they came out in, Mermills came out in, and I did not expect them to be like the better deck, but Mermills are definitely just a tier 2, maybe a tier 3 strategy, whereas UAs uh, with Cyberstyle are actually a tier 1 deck for sure, and uh, they're not tier 0 or anything. And uh, in today's video, I wanted to show you a couple of the examples of me beating UAs. Um, I I actually think the deck has a really really bad spellbook matchup which is good for me i know a lot of people are excited for the kc cup coming up next week because uh that's sort of like a way to get your invite to worlds or whatever um i'm pretty excited for that as well especially being a spellbook player but i think a lot of people are gonna play uas i think a lot of people are just gonna stop playing fur hires because they've been hit on the ban list but um uas just don't have as many defensive options and they're a lot more um reliant on their normal summon compared to fur hires because they do not have mayhem anyway hopefully you guys enjoyed this video these are taken from a live stream a couple nights ago i'm not playing mermaids like i said i'm gonna play spellbooks i think that they have the best matchup against the metagame so enjoy the gameplay thoughts on all the not being ots8 you know i'm not surprised but i am disappointed ah <laughs> <sighs> Hey Sam, can you uh, cool it on the spam? Thanks. Do you notice how no one else is posting 10 comments in a row? Did you hear the winner? Yeah, it was crazy over here. What are we missing? No. I'm toxic and Yu-Gi-Oh plays me. Nice. There's always in any community there's always gonna be a vocal minority that's toxic, but what are you gonna do, you know? Favorite character in Duel Links? Man, Bandit Keith, he's broken. He has so many good skills. He's the only character that's had two skills changed because he was too good. Do you guys remember where, probably no one does, but do you remember when you played against that Spellbook player that like searched twice and didn't search Fate <laughs> for some reason? That was great. That was a meme. Oh, man. Nice. Thanks, fam. It's always good to hear when they hit the organization. Yeah, it still gets banished, but... Nice. This deck is so freaking good. Even when you don't open Sound Magician, you can usually stack it. Went to my first Locals and your help. Nice. Locals is fun. Locals are fun. That'd be a better way to say that. I think we're dead, but what are you going to do? Sometimes it happens. That's life. Five K gems for the Synchros. That'll be like a hundred. It's a hundred packs, right? Seems fine. Yeah, we're dead. Because the one guy is piercing. Oh. Maybe we're not dead. <laughs> yeah, you are pretty crazy. Specifically with this uh, skill. Wait a second, this isn't optional? Oh crap. Definitely thought it was optional. I, I wasn't gonna search. Every institution target, Panzer Dragon. What a fun card. We'll have two chances to get Sound Magician, so that's not that bad. Definitely summoning this. Definitely having Fate. 
Well, let's do all searches first, and then... UA tier 0. Um, that might be an exaggeration. Oh, I don't know the secrets. Oh wait, this is uh this part. Mm -hmm. So I'm pretty sure I have a secrets banished. Okay, let's well, eight cards left in deck. Six of them are silent magicians. So that's how it's gonna be, huh? <laughs> so that's how it's gonna be. Does that ever not happen, chat? Let's be real. I don't know if that ever doesn't happen. Okay, here's the plan. Step one. Run over this. Step two, search eternity. Step three, <clears throat> activate this. <laughs> oh, what? Half the deck is freaking sound missions and we still can't? Whatever. It's fine. I think we still have it. We don't need Sound Magician to win. I mean, we do, but I'll pretend like we don't. Okay. <laughs> How do UA work in this game? Um, they just abuse level 6 and level 7 guy. You're gonna lose. Uh, I don't think so. The cool thing about UAs is they don't play the defensive cards that Fur Hires did. Their only defensive card is the trap card, which doesn't do anything if they don't have a monster. Like, this matchup's actually easier than Fur Hires. They don't even play with negations. Like, I hope people, like, okay, how do I say this? Like, this deck is really good. Don't get me wrong. But I think against most decks, it'll have a really good matchup. That's interesting. But I really hope a lot of people play this deck because I think that, in general, it, it has such a horrible spellbook matchup that, like, it's just gonna be like free wins, basically. Is this game, right? 15, 700 plus. 800 that is not game that is really annoying um okay in that case hmm. what did I... I feel like we should have one more master in deck but Kind of a weird position to be in. So what's the what's the last card in our deck? There's three sound magicians, some just oh treacherous, okay. I think the only flower changes format? Probably not. Yeah. He didn't even, no, the midfielder didn't matter. It's just like, we couldn't kill him. No, like, 
I think Spellbooks are like the second best deck now. But I think people still aren't going to play them, which is good because mirror matches are horrible. But this matchup is literally... You always just play like Fur Hires without any of the negations. And let me tell you guys, the only reason Fur Hires were good is because they had negations. Like, there's there's almost no reason to add back. I'm always afraid of adding back secrets. I'm like, oh, what if I activated a secret this turn? So I'm just like, I'll just add back master and can't go wrong with that. This seems kind of awkward. Yeah, you guys like don't even play real back row. Like I, I actually think that this is like the best time you play in spell books. You just don't have to play through anything. <laughs> and it's great. Like yeah, penalty box kinda matters, but not really. Anyone speculating a reprints of alternative? It actually is getting reprinted. In the, they're re, they're doing another run of um, what you call it, the thingy. They're doing another run of um, wait a second, oh, the the movie packs are coming out again. So. What is the best starter booster in Duel Links? Or in the real life. Am I doing this correctly? Yes. The answer is yes. Sam, come on, dude. Please stop. No one... Is there any punishment for this? Fear Kribo, I guess. Do you have a video on the best structure decks? Um, I have a video of like, what even was that? Like the best structure deck exclusive cards. So kind of. Is there any punish for not doing this? No, there's not. Actually, we want him to summon level six guy, and we'll just win right away. Which he's not going to do, but can't win them all. Is that even worth it? Because then my follow up is. Yeah, it's probably worth it. Just to make penalty box do nothing. How much money have I spent on Duel Links? Uh, 375, I guess. You play Mermails today? Probably not. We were always salty about. Losing a thousand times. Honestly, I think our win rate was more than 50%. It has a pretty good UA matchup, it just is really bad for a higher matchup. Spent less money in Spellbooks and Memorials? Yeah, because they're from a mini box, so they're a lot easier to get. You were ignored. There's a lot of comments. Could you go into about what Sky Street cards will get hit? Um, I think Engage will get hit, because I think they want Hornet Drones to be a card that's played. And honestly, Horn Drones is like fine. 
for the most part. Like, it really is. I know it sounds crazy, but... Like, the, the... If they just printed Kagari in Ultimate Rare, I wouldn't necessarily say that um, they were going to keep Sky Striker Hornet around, but the fact that they not only printed Kagari in Ultimate Rare, but also um, printed the super rare token card like really implies that they want to keep those. I think Swalox is better than that. <laughs> sure. He uh, actually plays this game sometimes, so therefore he's better. So we want to do 1,500, I think. Right, 1,500, we'll put him at 23, so we can only summon one. So you need to set two of these cards. Should have set Eternity, that was better. Because next turn we want Eternity for Master. Dueling said Dark Claw. I think if Dueling said Dark Claw, like every deck would be killed. <laughs> that seems horrible. They Kagari did two or one. Sounds like you haven't played a lot of competitive Yu Gi Oh! Kagari's like almost always just played as a two of, sometimes as a one of. <laughs> 